get the puchinta, it's just plain. Dip it in the yema. Wow, look at that. Look how thick the yema is. Let's try it. Puchinta with yema. All right, so we have arrived here at Sitang's Eatery and it, this is one of the recommendations from the locals, from my friends who live here in Malolos, Bulacan. It's an institution, it's been covered and it's been featured in so many uh, social media, YouTube channels and local television channels. I was born in Bulacan and I grew up in Bulacan and this is my first time trying Sitang's and I'm so, so excited. So let's go try their kakanins. Ito yung pitong klase na talagang yung original na sitangs. Kasi yung iba dyan, may mga supplier lang din gamit. Ito yung talagang gawa namin ng pitong bestseller. Ito kasi Biko. Ito ang sosawa nito, nyug o na may natin sa iba ako. Kasi ito naman, bibingkang malagkit. Yung bibingkang malagkit, ito yung yung melatik na parang totong sa ibabaw na matamis. Mas tamalis yung binusang bigas na may paminta at saka bawang. Kaya medyo matamis sa mga hangin lasa na itong tamalis. Ito naman yung kachita na may yema. Ito yung may sausawan to na yema na ano, tas may cheese yung ibabaw. Ito, putong galapong may cheese tsaka egg tapos giniring na bigas. Actually lahat to, puro giniring na bigas. Okay. Ang direct ano lang nito, talagang solid talaga ito na puto talaga. Hindi, wala siyang harina. Oh. Oh. Oh, yun ang pinagkaiba ng mga kanina. Ito ko chinta, may nyog din na kapares. Ito naman, sa pinsa pa yung mega po. Ito yung may keso. Tapos meron may munggo. Yan. Pero yung consistency niyan, parehas lang din ng base ng mga kachinta namin. Oo. Uh -uh. Tamanis, ito yun. Oo, oh, yan. May ibang sizes lang. Tamalis din to. So same yan yung nandun din. Oh, pero ito yung, ito yung traditional na pagkakabalot ng tamalis. Yan. Basta ganyan yung tsura, tamalis talaga yan. Puto na may salted egg. Oo, oh, tsaka cheese na makahalo. Meron kasi kami nakabukod. Yung iba kasi, ayun ng cheese. Egg. Ayan, puro egg lang. So yung flakiness nito, close ba siya sa... Sa kaliskis. Oo, oh, halos parehas naman eh. Ah, meron pork, meron chicken. Ano mas okay? Ah, pork yung mabili sa akin. Alright, so I've got all my orders. I picked up almost everything on the menu because everything just looks so good and so enticing. Sitang's Eatery is really famous here in Malolos, Bulacan. Not only for their kakanins, but also for their meriendas. I think I'm gonna start with the meriendas first before I introduce you to the main kakanin. So here, for merienda, I'm craving for binuguan. So I wanna try this with their puto. They have two types of rice cakes or puto. First flavor is cheese and then the second one is salted egg. That's what we're gonna pair with the dinuguan which is a classic, classic pairing. But let me try the dinuguan first with a huge chunk of pork. Look at that. Mm. Mm. I think that's pure fat. <laughs> and I think there's some pork innards as well. Let me try this one. Mmm. That's pork intestine. I'm trying to find the pork meat though. I think this one is the blood. Mmm. So sweet. And then you taste the sourness from the vinegar. And it's not so savory, it's not so salty. Now let's try with the cheese. Puto. Let's dip it. Oh, look at that. Blood lovers. Vampires. This is for you. Oh, not for you. Mmm. 
Oh yeah, I love that. The puto is very moist. I mean, look at that. It's very moist and it's bouncy. Not like other puto that are dense and very filling. I like that it's just light and fluffy. Let's try with the salted egg. Make a dip. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, I love salted egg. This is the one for me. Mm. Chase it with the dinuguan. Mm. This is a really good classic merienda. Puto at dinuguan. Now let's move on to this lumpiang sariwa, which is drowning in sweet sauce. See the inside. So I think this is lumpiang ubud, and it's wrapped in this kind of yellow wrapper that you will only find in this specific dish. So let's put some sweet sauce. The ubud. Let's try a big bite. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Very tasty. Savory, sweet, and garlicky. This is really good. This one can match the lumpiang ubud from Maxis. It's really good. Mm. Next, let's try lumpiang toge. So let's add some vinegar in there. Just a little bit. Oh, it's still piping hot. It's freshly cooked. And I can feel the crispiness of it. Let's try it. Mm. I love it. Nicely done. Perfectly salted. It's very light and it's packed with toge, which are bean sprouts. I believe mixed with carrots in there. Oh man, this is good. And their suka, their vinegar is really good as well. Mm. Yum. Now let's move on to their tamales. This is how a traditional tamales looks like. I believe this is made out of rice flour topped with salted egg. Try to break it in half. See what's inside. Okay, I'm not sure what this is gonna taste like. Okay, let's try without the egg first. So you see it's brown in color. The normal tamales I see is like white. Mm. Oh, I like this. It's savory, sweet, and peppery. Normally, the other tamales doesn't have much flavor at all. Mmm. I tried with the salted egg. Oh, this is addictive. The pepperiness of it with a sweet, salty taste. Mmm. I used to not like tamales, but this one I like. Really good. Now, let's try the empanada de calisquis. Actually, we went to Mercy's, which makes the traditional empanada de calisquis, but they're still closed. This one is not the most traditional, but they also make the kaliskis type. They have the chicken and then they have the pork version. So let's try the chicken first. So this is how it looks like. Look how flaky it is. It actually reminds me of the curry puff that you can get in Singapore because it comes in many layers. So that's why they call it empanada de kaliskis because it looks like scales. That's how they make the, the dough, I believe, before frying it. Let's break it in half. Whoa. Look how flaky it is. Oh my gosh, it's so flaky and messy. Let's try. Mm. If you're tired from your usual empanada, this flaky empanada is gonna be a good one for you. The filling is chicken and potatoes, perfectly seasoned. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try the pork. I don't care how messy it is, as long as it's this good. Look at that. I think they use fork to close this. Break it in half. I think the pork inside is something that you can put in um, puto pao. I think I prefer the chicken more because I love how savory it is. I love the chicken. Let me introduce you to the main dish. We came here at Sitangs for their kakanin to share with your family, especially if they're gatherings. So here they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kinds of kakanins. And I believe this first one is the biko. The second one is the bokayo. And the third one is the tamales that we tried just now. Then the fourth one is the kuchinta with cheese. And then this fifth one is puto with salted egg. And then the sixth one is kuchinta with yema sauce. I believe, I think they're gonna give some yema sauce. And then this last one is the colorful sapin sapin, which comes in layers. So I'm gonna start with the biko. I'm not sure if there's difference in flavor from white and then the, the purple one. 
but let's try the white one first. Let's stop with latik, which I believe is like toasted coconut. It's very sticky, just like how a traditional pico should be. And I think this is the smallest pico that I'm gonna try in my entire life. Mm, love it. Not too heavy, not too sweet as well. I love the addition of the lipstick on top with its texture. Let's try the one with the purple. Is it ube flavor? Why is it purple? Let's find out. I love how small it is. My main issue when eating kakanin is it being heavy because it always comes in big sizes. But this one is just perfect. Bite size for like party size. Mmm. I think it's the same flavor. I love the color though. As you can see, the banana leaf is already very oily. I think it's because of the coconut. So let's try. Mm. Really good. It's not too sweet. Perfect size. I want some more. I, th I think I can finish all of these. It's so good. I love it. And I think this is the same tamales that we had, but I just want to try it with this just to show you how it looks like in this form non-traditional type and I love it because there's like a huge chunk of salted egg in there mm. Mm. I love that they have this savory type of tamales mm. good stuff next is the kuchinta with cheese so normally the kuchinta that I grew up eating is circle or round in shape but this one, I think it's the first first time I'm gonna try this shape as well. Let's try it. Mm. Just like what a typical or classic cochinta should taste like. Balanced and contrasted by the savoriness, slight saltiness from the cheese. Really good balance. Mm. Next is, I think it's the same puto that we tried with the dinuguan. So it just comes in this shape, again, bite size. Let's try. I really love how light and fluffy it is. So I believe this is the yema sauce that should go with the kuchinta. Look at that, look at how thick it is. Let's get the kuchinta, it's just plain. Dip it in the yema. Wow, look at that. Look how thick the yema is. Let's try it, kuchinta with yema. Mm. If you're tired of your usual kuchinta and coconut flakes combo, you can try this. Yema kuchinta is really one of the modern things that Filipinos does nowadays, but it really works and it's so good. Mm. So luscious. And last but not the least, from this tray, Sapin Sapin. So Sapin Sapin always comes in layers. This is like a rainbow color. There's purple, green, yellow, pink, and white. Let's try it. Mm. It really comes with layers. You can eat it like that. Normally the Sapin Sapin is super sticky that you can't really get the individual layers but it works with this one. Kayla's gonna love this. Now from this eatery, I noticed different style on the kuchinta. They, they're playing with flavors here. They're not kidding. So they have this kuchinta with cheese on top and then kuchinta with mongo. So let's try the one with the cheese first. The brown kuchinta is stuffed with the yellow cheese. So on top, it's like light yellow brown. Mm. We have a slight saltiness on top. Very, very light. And then let's try the mongo. I'm more interested in this. I've never had kuchinta with mungo before. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like that the mungo is not sweet at all. I think titos and titas are gonna love this. Mungo is for titos and tita and for me as well. Mm. Oh, this works for me. See tongues. finished most of the merienda items and I really love the kakanins then from the merienda items I love the lumpiang ubud oh my gosh that's so good with the freshly fried lumpiang toge but this one I'm gonna share with my family so I'll see you again here in Malolos bye